today. My name is Clark Lagerman, Vice President of Health Options Worldwide, or how we like to call ourselves. I'm going to spend the next 15 minutes or so reviewing our health management system and showing you some of the main features that we believe can help to reduce health care costs while improving the overall individual's health. Today I'm going to focus in on two major components of users of our system, the employer or the payer, and also the end user or the individual. Right now we're looking at the main home screen of uh, Health Options Worldwide. And I'm going to jump directly into the employer or the payer's um, profile in the portal. I've already signed in, um, so I just clicked on the Access Your Profile. Uh, right here is where it's kind of like the kitchen. It's where everything happens. It's where people can customize their solution to all their members or all to their individuals. We believe that creating a solution that's scalable and customizable is very important when you're dealing with healthcare. Right here is the location in which an organization can choose which types of procedures they'd like to offer their individuals, um, where the facilities are located, whether they be in the United States or abroad. And what we, we, we find with this concept right here is, is a surgical benefits management, or some people call it medical travel, where an individual will leave their local hospital to travel for health care. Typically, organizations and, and individual patients are seeing uh, health care costs reduced by 30 to 50 percent for reducing a surgical for implementing a surgical benefits feature um, and it's a very effective way at improving the bottom line for health care costs uh, a lot of people uh, are concerned with the concept of medical travel certainly it, it, it grows with media exposure uh, more recently with Peyton Manning who's um, the star quarterback for the NFL team, Indianapolis Colts, and he traveled uh, overseas for a neck procedure um, that was not available here in the United States. So the idea of medical travel certainly is a great idea that you can expand your options for healthcare providers, uh, all while reducing your healthcare costs. So that's one component in which the, the profile of the organization can choose different healthcare providers uh, allowable to their members. This viewpoint is called the health board. And what we're highlighting here is really how can we improve the wellness of an organization with information. And what I mean by that is we're going to understand and identify the risk of, of the, the health care of an organization at an aggregate level. So we'll identify those high-risk members. For example, this organization is at risk for diabetes, obesity, and cholesterol. They're, they're not at risk for hypertension. That means their employees are all within the normal ranges. And the way we get this information, I'll show you in the individual screen, but basically it aggregates all this healthcare data, identifies members who are at risk, and then we're going to show you how you can use evidence-based reminders to reduce the prevention of these chronic diseases. And that's once you identify, we'll jump into a campaign which is going to target those individuals with educational information so they can make a value-based healthcare decision based upon this. In 2010, the New England Journal of Medicine reported that approximately one and a half million deaths were, were due to smoking, hypertension, inactivity, cholesterol. So we take those to mean as those preventable deaths. If these individuals were either educated or organized in a manner in which they took specific steps to reduce those risks, the likelihood that they would not have had you know, a, a more fatal um, uh, complication. Wellness programs, in a, in a, in a nutshell, return on average $3 to every $1 being spent. So for every $1 an organization spent on a wellness program, it returns $3 back to their bottom line. Some made uh, organizations such as J&J has seen a $9 million uh, improvement. Uh, Citibank, uh, they say for every $1 they spend, they return $5. So again, a very powerful instrument in reducing healthcare costs and, and really helping an organization uh, live a healthier, happier lifestyle. The campaign, as I mentioned before, is really going to organize all of your information and, and what we're targeting and how the organization is being tracked on certain metrics. And I'll show you in the individual level uh, in a few moments how we garner all this information and how it's used. The results are pretty self-explanatory. We want to have all the information located in one singular location. So once an, uh, an HR manager or a benefits administrator can log on to their profile and see at the click of a button, uh, or a click of a mouse, I should say, uh, where the organization is trending, where they're at risk, 
and how are their results you know, in comparison to when they started the campaign. Another thing that's a very important um, fact to state is that the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act is saying that in 2014 they're going to increase the wellness incentives to 30 to 50 percent of health care premiums compared to 20 percent, which is what they're offering right now. So what that's saying to me is the government recognizes that wellness programs are successful and they believe that a HIPAA-compliant incentive uh, is both ethical and effective. So again, a powerful tool to, to add into any organization to help reduce those health care costs and improve the overall health of an organization. This is, again, a brief over, overview of how um, an employer or an, a payer can utilize the system. And I want to jump into how an individual uses the system. So I think that's an important um, point to note that many of the people on the line today are involved with patient advocacy groups and are at that individual level. So I want to show you exactly how individuals use our system and how effective they can be. And I'm logging directly into um, David Goldstein's profile, who's the president of Health Options Worldwide. And I'll show you how he uses the system to reduce his health care costs. First thing I want to point out is we offer a private portal for each patient. And what they're allowed to do here is they can blog about some of their health care information. For example, if they were traveling for a health care procedure, they were utilized that medical travel component, and they were leaving their, uh, you know, maybe leaving New Jersey and traveling to California, they can log into their profile. They can type in, you know, a blog information, and it's sent directly to individuals they uh, know are accessible, meaning that they can send uh, a message to all of their family members indicating how the surgery went, how their recovery is going, as opposed to calling 40 or 30 people. Uh, one click of a button can give access to all of those individuals, how their um, uh, trending towards. I do want to point out that this system is a HIPAA compliant system. It's a 228-bit security encryption software, meaning it's the same security um, being utilized by all the major banks and the financial institutions, credit card payment services. So even if someone wants to access or try to hack into the system, it's protected and the information will be deemed invaluable uh, uh, without any value to those individuals because it will be totally erased. We have a, a personal health record. Um, each individual is, has a portable personal health record where they can enter in all their health care information, for example, blood pressure, how many hours they sleep, uh, what's their heart rate, exercise, et cetera. This, can be, this information can be uploaded either from a claim dump, meaning we work with the insurer or the employer, and they upload all of their health care information to our system, or it can be self-reported by an individual. Um, they upload information from their last checkup, um, and we track and, and basically analyze the healthcare data. And this is how, at an aggregate level, you saw on that employer earlier that their organization was at risk for uh, diabetes or for hypertension or for cardiovascular disease or for cholesterol. It's all garnered through this system right here. All this information is aggregated up to a, a main level and the employer can understand exactly where they're trending towards. What's very nice about this is we believe that we need to close the gap between education and action. So right here we have an alert. So we have, you know, uh, David is at risk for um, his BMI is above normal range, his cholesterol is above normal range, and also he has not gotten his annual physical. So all these things are really steps that we know are important that, that, that David um, utilizes and does something for so he can reduce the likelihood of that chronic disease to progress. Let's take a look at cholesterol, for example. Right when you click on the button, we give you education and showing exactly why you are getting this alert and what does it mean if you leave it untreated. I want to take it one step further, which is really important to close in the gap. Uh, most, most of us know that Education is great, but if you can't close the gap and actually take specific immediate action, it's really all for naught. So with a few clicks, we're able to populate a doctor, uh, Dr. John Smith, who's in his um, insurance, that accepts his insurance, that's local to him as well, that can help him for that cholesterol testing. When you log up to the doctor's screen, you can see everything from their treatments, their specialties, what hospitals they're affiliated with, all the insurance. We also allow them to choose and upload certain appointment times. So David can choose right from this point a healthcare appointment with our doctor, look right here, send it in to him, 
and he'll get booked in for a healthcare procedure or for a screening or for an education or for uh, physical. Again, it's important to take that one step from educating and understanding that you're at risk for a healthcare condition, moving to uh, action and what do you do next. Another nice feature is we recognize that without having a direct referral into most of these healthcare providers, as most of us know, um, you need to be educated on, on what they offer, um, why we choose them, what are they like. So we, we showcase here all the procedures they offer and the average cost they charge to, which is important for many patients who um, are either at a high deductible plan or who are traveling without health care insurance, um, and especially for employer organizations or insurers. So they can understand the cost before uh, a medical treatment or a medical episode. Again, increasing that transparency is very important. Providers also have the option to post blogs, images of their practice in their facility and their employees, videos that they were interviewed, or possibly they want to you know, showcase some other main features about their institution. Uh, testimonies as well is a very good part to educate individuals on why this person is a good doctor and why I should be um, you know, going to their facility. There's another main aspect of this site I do want to highlight and that's, um, we've developed a library of surgical information that highlights that over 100 procedures and what happens before the procedure, what happens after procedure. And that's very important to educating individuals on, you know, what are the potential risks, what are the potential benefits of a certain procedure, um, and, and what it means to them. So I'm going to go in here and search for heart bypass. And, you know, it populates different doctors and different facilities. Well, let's just go right into the education of it. As I mentioned, there's over 100 uh, surgical procedures we have listed online, and they all have information on the procedure, what's known before the procedure and after. And if you're traveling for healthcare, what does that mean? Are you traveling overseas for it? What does that mean for your recovery? What does that mean for uh, your family? So we put some information on there as well. We really share the belief that education and action are very important, and if we can um, really engage these individuals to have them make value-based healthcare decisions. It'll be a very important asset for them to improve their overall health while reducing the long-term healthcare costs. I'm going to jump right back into the home screen again to, to just wrap this up again. As I promised, it would be about 15 minutes. And what we found by installing a system much like this is that we can provide our clients with one singular location for all their healthcare assets. So if they have that wellness program, you know, we can, we can help them engage their employees in the utilizing it and track with very specific uh, real-time access to healthcare data on how their individuals are doing um, and where they're still at risk, which is very important. We also add into this component that surgical benefits network uh, and that medical travel component, uh, meaning those individuals can have access to high-quality, affordable healthcare providers, uh, both in the United States and abroad, uh, which helps to expand the level of options they have when choosing a healthcare provider. All these systems coming together um, have been shown to reduce healthcare costs significantly. Um, anywhere from every one dollar being spent uh, is can be returning eight to ten dollars uh, savings back to the employer organization, and that combines both that wellness component and also that surgical benefits component. Finally. I just wanted to thank everyone for joining us today. Um, we appreciate you making the time. And I hope that you, you join our network um, and you see the benefits of this system that has been utilized by individuals in over 25 countries to date. So again, a powerful tool that really um, can help to reduce the healthcare costs, improve the individual's health, and really give you a seamless process for improving the delivery of healthcare. Thank you again for joining. And if you need any further information, feel free to contact us directly on our website or by calling us at 877-234-1345. Feel free to ask for Clark, and I'll be happy to answer any more questions. Thank you, and have a great day.